Hi, so we're going to have a look here at using the form. Um, I guess, again, this is quite a fundamental element of the Dawn uh, backend. So, so to get to it, we're logged in here as, as we are in my user profile. And we can see the various activities that I've taken over the last while. If we go up here to members, we go to forum. And we can see that this is the general index page. So it's like the home page of the forum. And underneath that, there are a number of kind of sub forums. So we have general discussions, announcements, AT discussions, specific learning difficulties, sensory, physical, and medical conditions. So dependent on the topic or um, element that you're looking to discuss or to find an answer to, hopefully it will be under one of these particular forums. So what you need to do to either access the, those these forums and, and topics is to click into it. So you can see here general discussions. You can see that it has one topic and it has two posts. So let's click in there. We can see see here are the two topics that have been discussed. So we can see that Bob has put up um, a particular topic. So we can click into it. And there's the message you wrote up. Here's a reply I put via the administrator. And if I, as the tester, want to make a reply to this, I just simply come along here, reply to. Um, and again, I can tag it. We can see here that I have put in a number of tags earlier. So we can either leave in the tags that somebody set out with, or I can remove these, and I can put in my own one. And I can hit submit. So we can now see that there's two replies to Bob's um, topic. Um, uh, so I can either go in and I can reply again, or I can edit. Um, so that's a kind of a, a generic standard setup. Now if I go back uh, to the form again, if I go back maybe into, let's say for example, let's go to um, AT discussions. I want to post something up here. Maybe I'm looking for something. <coughs> Um, let's say I'm looking for uh, read and write training, for example. So hey all, looking for training for the above. And I certainly need it myself. <laughs> Please email me. Okay, so again, I'll pop in a tag. So that's just be read and write and training and submit. So if we go to AT discussions, I'll see that there's one particular topic up there looking for read and write training. If I click into it, I can see what was said. Um, and I can see who said it. And if I, again, if somebody else wanted to reply here, then I would get a reply. So that's a standard enough use of the form. Um, hopefully people will start kind of engaging with the form and asking questions. One other important element to, to note here is on the right hand side, you will, you will always see again who's online, what events you have upcoming for your particular group. But as the form starts to build up, it will become um, kind of a depository for useful information. And before you go along and upload a new topic or ask a new question, if you're looking for something kind of standard, it's no harm in just searching the form before, before you pop up a, a topic. So maybe if I type in uh, dare, for example, here and click search. Okay, so at the moment there's nothing in there for preferred deer. So if I go back to search again, <clears throat> and I cl click in training and search, you can just see the, the topic I just entered in there. So looking for read and write training. So maybe somebody has come along here earlier, a few months ago or weeks ago, and had replied to my message, had told me that you go along to somebody um, you know x y and z for training it could even be your ability.com um, and uh, you know you'll find the details underneath this particular topic so it just saves you having to reply and, and create a new topic and it saves the group from having to, to answer you once more